You are so dumb. You are really dumb. What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite oddball, Ryan Kelly. Hey, don't use that picture. Anyways, I'm back. Here we are. Uh, I told you more videos were coming. Today, what we're gonna do, you guys, is a QA. and a I went through everything, my DMs, Twitter, everything you can think of, and I, I, I pulled together an insane amount of questions from you guys. Because I received, obviously, the majority about Teen Wolf, I'm gonna do a whole separate video of a Teen Wolf Q&A that's gonna come up next, okay? Today is just getting to know me, silly, goofy, things like that, the things that you guys asked, and I'm gonna try to answer. I'll start off by telling a little bit about myself. My name's Ryan Kelly. Don't do the picture thing. I was born in Chicago. Uh, I have 14 brothers and sisters. A lot of you guys know this stuff already about me, but for the people that are new to the channel, yeah, I have 14 siblings. It's crazy, right? My parents were uh, pretty strict. They kept us in line. All right, let's get right into the questions. Kylie Jive 22. <laughs> what got you in acting? Hey, that's a great question. Way to start us off. I think a huge part of why I got in acting was when I was younger, you know, my parents having 15 kids, college, is insanely expensive. So my mom was looking for ideas to give us a head start on paying off college. So when I was younger, I, I got into modeling. So I was always like the kid, like wearing like PJs or playing with the truck, smiling, being like, that was me. I did a lot of that stuff when I was younger. And I think that's just how it started. And then I got, you know, a, as I kept doing it, kept doing it more and more and more, I just fell in love with it. I got bit by the acting bug. And I, I mean, I remember truly the first time in my life when I was like, oh, I, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life was on Smallville. I saw these young actors doing this for their career um, and talking with them and getting to pick their brains. And I was like, wait, you can, this, you know, up until that point, I'd just been doing it because my parents had kind of been pushing me and I liked it. It was just fun. You know, it's kind of like playing soccer. Like I just did it. I enjoyed it, but I just did it. I didn't really think of a future about it. And yeah, my, my, my parents got me into acting to pay for college and I bit them in the butt and didn't go to college. All right. Tom, 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 Tomet, what do you do for fun? <laughs> These days with COVID, it's, uh, that's a tricky question. I have found the end of Netflix, uh, Hulu, all those there. I mean, it's over, it's done. It just gets to a point where it's a black screen and they say, hey, we've got nothing more for you. I do watch an unhealthy amount of film and television and movies, but I like to put that in my head as I'm doing research. I'm studying for my craft. So I really, you know, if I'm sitting down watching TV, it's a good thing. I'm learning. I'm watching actors. I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. So I, don't, so I don't look at it as someone might say lazy, but I watch a lot of film and television. That's what I do for fun a lot. Otherwise, you know, I love animals. I love being outdoors. I like certain hikes as long as they're not too hard. You know, with the people that go on like six day hikes up to the top of mountains with sticks, I'm like, nah, it's, you know, I like, I like day hikes, you know, relaxing, easy stuff, you know? I like to just get out, get the fresh air. You know, I keep it simple. Keep it simple. All right, T Lever 66. What was the last TV show you binge watched? Like I just said, man, I've, I've found the end of all streaming services. So I've done something that I never looked down upon this, but I was never into it and I never quite understood it. Anime. I was always like, why would I watch cartoons when I could watch a real show? But because I've watched so many shows, I'm starting to run out. I've gotten into some anime. Um, and the last one that I just binged that was phenomenal was My Hero Academia. I, I Once I started, I couldn't stop it. I, I crushed all four seasons and now I'm waiting for the next season like like this. I can't wait. All right. Triple A Dancer FS. Favorite project you've ever done? I have different moments from different things that truly touch your heart. I know this is going to sound cliche and dumb because a lot of you guys are Team Wolf fans. Team Wolf has to be up at the top, mainly because it was also the longest running thing I've been on. You know, I was on multiple seasons where a lot of like the films and television shows that I've been on, I was only on it for X amount of time. Team Wolf was a lot longer, so it felt like a huge family. So I have way more memories of Team Wolf um, than I do with the others. I will say prayers for Bobby. For those of you who haven't seen it, check it out. It's, uh, it's not a feel-good movie, but it's one of the most impactful projects I've ever been a part of and probably will ever be a part of. Um, it truly was an honor for me to be in that project. All right, uh, Jesse James 90210. <laughs> what is your biggest fear? Oh man, what is my biggest fear? There's the obvious, spiders. Hate them, don't like any of them. It's not a single spider I like, but like realistic fear. Uh, you know, I don't think anyone wants to die alone. I think that would be terrible. Yeah, I don't want to die alone. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, undo. <laughs> There's no way I can pronounce your name. I apologize. How old were you when you had your first celebrity crush and who was it? Ooh, great question. 
I have no idea how old I was. It was probably like some cartoon. It's weird now that I was just talking about cartoons. It was probably a cartoon character like April from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or... I mean, I liked Topanga from Boy Meets World. I remember when I was a kid, I was always like, she's pretty. All right, you guys, these, I'm, I'm the world's worst name pronouncer, especially when this person's name has 13,000 letters in it. So I'm just gonna start reading the questions to spare you guys watching me stumble over pronouncing names, okay? We'll just do that. If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pizza? Like, you know, all the different toppings that you can have on that. I, th I think I could, I think I could live with pizza. Plus, you know, I'm from Chicago. We have deep dip pizza. Deep dip pizza. Deep dish, thin, healthy, cauliflower crust, whatever. I'll eat it all. Do you have any pet peeves? I dislike rude people. Honestly, that's a real one. I don't like when people are rude to other people, especially like, we all have that one friend who you go out to eat with and they start like getting nasty with the, with the waiter. Not like mean, mean, because hopefully we don't have friends like that. But you know, they get a little touchy where they're like, oh, I mean, they just say something and you're like, dude, they're, they're, they they clearly seem backed up. Like give them, you know, you know, it's all, it's all right. We're gonna get our food. You know, they're like, ah, oh, I just, you know, if you're gonna pay for it, you know, and they freak out and you're just like, dude, it's not that serious. We're just floating around on a little rock in the universe. That's it. Crust or no crust? Crust or no, are we talking about sandwiches or pizza? Or if we're talking about sandwiches, no crust. Like if, if I had my way, I'd never eat crust ever again. Um, I like pizza crust-ish. Please tell me if you guys have had those Uncrustables. Oh, heaven in your mouth. They've got no crust. They're just like these little circle peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Delicious. If you had unlimited money to start your own business, what would it be? Something with animals. I would do, I mean, honestly, my dream uh, would be like to have acres and acres and acres and acres and acres and acres of land and then have like half of it be for dogs and half of it be for animals. Maybe have a section for other things, but uh, you know, just anytime there's shelters, like kill shelters, you know, you just take them all, just take them all, just bring them into the, you know, I've had thousands of animals just running around with food and hopefully I'd have all the money in the world so I wouldn't have to clean up their poop. I'd have people that I paid for that. Picking up poop sucks. Do you have a favorite type of exercise? I like, I like lifting weights. Teen Wolf definitely got me into, to, I don't want to say bodybuilding because I'm not a bodybuilder, but to, to lifting heavy. When I was on Teen Wolf, I had to keep weight on. So I had to lift heavier and heavier and heavier to make myself bulkier. And I fell for it, you know, I love it. It's, it's a way to relieve stress. It's a way for me just to relieve energy and it gets me out of the house. So it's, I love, I love lifting weights. I'm terrible at cardio. My cardio is not good. Um, so I need to work on that more, but that's why I like lifting weights, you know, it's not so hard. Would you rather cook or order in? It's a great question. Let me tell you guys, I am fantastic. Like, there's no one out there better than me at ordering food. I hate cleaning up messes, dishes, things like that. When you, you know, comes to your house, you know, you don't throw it out. But I get the, I get the, the paper stuff, you know, so it's it, uh, biodegradable. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, do you sleep with a top sheet? <laughs> why or why not? Do I sleep with a top sheet? Why or why not? What a weird, great question. And why it's great is because this is actually, I should have said this is a pet peeve of mine. I hate top sheets. Like when you get sheets and you get new sheets, especially if it's like soft, you put it on your bed, you get it. And then you get this one sheet that's just like, what is this for? And you're like, oh, it's supposed to go over the top. And no, I never use it. I hate it. It's just like, it's just, a, it's just, it ends up on the floor and then you have to, uh, listen, I'm also the type of person, I never make my bed, ever. I don't make it like, it's not like, Disgusting, but like you know, I'll I'll, I'll make my blanket like kind of nice and like pluff, you know, put the pillows in the somewhat area. But I never tuck it in. I hate that. When I go to a hotel at night, I hate when it's tucked in so tight. You're like, uh, uh, you like feel trapped, like a little sardine in a can. I hate that feeling. So, though I don't love a dirty bed, I like a clean, messy bed. Um, and so no top sheaf, top sheet, sheaf, sheet, sheet, sheaf, sh. No top sheet. All right. What is your definition of success? My definition of success, it's changed over the years. I mean, as you guys understand, you, you, every year you become a different person, especially when you're younger, you know, you're changing so much beliefs. These days, my, my version of success is being able to work with people that I respect, care about, and enjoying life, you know? Obviously, you, you wanna work hard, but I, there's definitely a balance. I mean, I'm an actor. <laughs> talking to work hard, play hard. I, I like to I like to have passion and work really hard at times, but then I also like to kick back and, and, and enjoy life. Um, I have some friends who only know how to work. Uh, I also have some friends that only know how to, to relax. So, you know, there's a little balance. But yeah, to me, success is being around people that you respect, 
you enjoy being around and you're happy. You know, like happiness in this life um, is a struggle that every person battles. It's not an easy thing, you know, like we're humans. We have balances. So trying to be happy as much as possible is success to me. What's a relationship deal breaker for you? Ooh, that's a good juicy question. Well, oh, this is a simple one. You know how many times, <laughs> this one's like right off the bat. You know, if I'm on a, if I'm gonna be on a dating app or I'm going on a blind date or whatever it is people do these days and they say they're allergic to cats, bye. I got four cats. Like if you're allergic to cats, I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. This isn't going to work. Do you like doing film or television? Ooh, that's a great question. Do I like doing film or television? Again, at different points in my career or times in life, I've enjoyed doing one or the other more. These days, I, I will say again, Team Wolf spoiled me. I had such an amazing time on Team Wolf. Um, it really was a family. Jeff Davis, the show creator, made it his mission to make everyone get along. Um, you know, and it's super cliche. You always hear people saying like, oh, I love being on set. And then you hear like behind the stories that like people hated each other and wouldn't talk to each other or couldn't be in the same room. I never experienced that on Team Wolf. I didn't really see any of that. Um, I truly love to go into set every day. So I think television these days, it's just, I like the consistency, you know, Monday through Friday. Um, sometimes on films you work weekends. Um, so, you know, I, I, I just, I loved the family aspect of Teen Wolf, it was, it was awesome. And the next series I get on, I hope it's the same thing where it's a family experience. You change your hair from time to time. What's your favorite look? I'm assuming you mean like hair color. I don't change my hair too often. I've had it like I've had long beaver bangs, uh, and then short. I'm actually growing my hair right now. It's funny. That's that's a great question. It's it's, uh, it's fitting. So I'm gonna go with color. You know, like if you saw me on the first season of Teen Wolf, you guys, my hair was like reddish blonde, and then it went dark. Throughout my entire career, I've had black hair, red hair, blonde hair. I mean, it changes all the time. Here's a little. Some people know this about me, but not many. My hair. When I was 16 years old, I started getting tons of grays on the side, on the side of my head. I was 16 years old and I was like really gray on the sides. So I had to start dyeing my hair for projects. So COVID, this is, this is an interesting thing about COVID. So at the beginning of COVID, when the lockdown happened and all that, I kind of basically shaved my head, not fully shaved, but cut it super short because I wanted my hair to grow back to number one, see how much gray hair I have now. And number two, see what like my actual hair color looks like because I've been dyeing it for since I was 16, you know, I'm in my 30s, so I can't tell you last time, I, I haven't seen my natural hair color in forever. Um, and that's because every time you get on a project, they dye it something different, or they're trying to cover it like this, or they're trying to match it with this. So I've just always been in salons or, or on set in hair and makeup having my hair dyed. So this was a nice break with COVID to be like, well, I'm not working for a while. All Everything is shut down. Let's see what my hair color is. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys something right now. This is gonna be crazy how gray I've become. Check this out. Look at how gray I am. That's because I'm so wise. Each hair of gray is like 10 billion percent of how wise you are compared to the next person. So, you know, you know. But that's actually a great fun thing that I was gonna do, you guys. Um, I want you guys in the comments to let me know. One of the videos I wanna do is either having my hair dyed at a professional salon like I normally do, or because COVID's still kinda going on, it could be fun to do I do it myself, which I'm, there's a 50, 50% 50 chance I'm gonna mess it up. And if I mess it up, I'll just cut it again short. But if it looks cool, how cool would that be if I did it myself? Um, that could be fun watching me attempt to not look like an idiot. <laughs> Dye my hair and it's like jet black. Like what happened? I like blacker than this hat. Like, I don't know, I tried. Cats or dogs? That's, I love all animals. Obviously I have more cats right now. So I like cats because they're easier. I travel a lot with work. Um, you know, tra traveling the world, doing conventions, especially when you're working long hours, cats are a lot easier than dogs. I love them both. Like you, uh, it's hard to pick. I wouldn't be able to. Because I have cats, we're gonna go with cats. What do you think of social media? What do I think of social media? I hate it. It's a, it's a necessary evil. Um, obviously, it makes sense to do, to have an Instagram or Twitter and things like that to promote projects that I've done, to let you guys know, to stay in contact with you guys. That part's really cool. But there's also parts of like, you see other people, doing things or, you know, it, there is, there's human nature where you can get jealous on it or you can um, get negative aspects, reading the comments of people who, who, who say things about you that are hurtful, like that's, it stinks. That doesn't make you feel good when you read that stuff. Um, I try to not read those type of comments, but you know, sometimes you read them or you accidentally see it and you know, someone tells you like, hey, you suck at acting. It hurts your feelings. <laughs> There's no way to put it. Even no matter you know, no matter how confident you are, you still don't want to see. You want to see someone be like, "Dude, you're an amazing actor." Not you suck. Quit. And you're like, "Oh man." 
But you know, you have to understand, you have to take social media with a grain of salt. Um, Tyler Hecklin's the one who taught me best. You know, monitor how much I'm on it, try to limit myself. Um, Cause there was times where I'd find myself scrolling, that's stuff that I've already seen and I'm not even really paying attention. I'm just bored watching TV and I'm like, put my phone down. You know, or if you're out with friends, keep your phone in the car, try to stay present and use social media at times you know, if you're bored at home or before bed or whatever it may be, but when you're out and enjoying life, get off your phone. Do I believe in second chances? Absolutely. I have screwed up so much in my life. If I, there wasn't such a thing as second chances, I wouldn't be here. Humans are idiots. I'm an idiot. We make mistakes. Um, and I think people can definitely change. You know, obviously there's some, some gray areas, you know, hopefully you're not out there killing people asking for second chances. But you know, if you if you do do a little boo boo, and you know, you, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna hold it against you. I'm gonna I'm gonna understand that you're human and that we all make make mistakes. All right, two part question: Do you believe in life on other planets and life after death? Ooh, we're getting deep. Uh, I definitely think there's life out there. If the universe is as vast as they say, I mean, it's massive. Just go. Some, you know, if you ever want to go down a rabbit hole, go on YouTube and search like how big the universe is and it'll put into perspective how teeny and insignificant we are compared to everything. Even our sun, which is massive, is still teeny compared to other ones. So I think maybe no one's near us, um, but somewhere out there, there is other forms of life. Maybe we'll never get to meet them. Maybe they'll never get to meet us. Um, I'm not sure I necessarily believe that they're on earth now. Maybe they are. I'm not against it, but I think no. And then life after death, I'm more agnostic on that. I don't really know. I'm the type of person, you know, if I can't see it, I don't fully understand it. So like, if you told me there's something behind this wall and I didn't, I was like, I, maybe there is, I don't really know. There could be, but there could also not be. I, I don't really know. I'm not gonna create an opinion just yet. I'm gonna listen to both sides. So I never really know about that stuff. I hope there is though. <laughs> All right. What's the last thing you do at night? The last thing I do at night, <sighs> I open the back door. And I go, and two of my cats that are always outside right around nighttime come running in the door. I shut the door, I lock it, and I hop in bed. Little, the, the Casa de Kitty over here, okay? I got a cats first. Last question. You know what, I'm gonna say your name because it's the last one. I browse south. When making a peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, when making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, do you put on the peanut butter first or the jelly first? You ready for this? I'm lazy. I buy the peanut butter and jelly that's already mixed together. So it's <laughs> boom. There you go. Try it if you haven't. Don't knock it until you try it. It's delicious and it's 10 times quicker. Boom. And you only need one, you know, one, one, one knife. You don't need to like clean off the knife. <laughs> delicious. Okay, you guys, that was the last question. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for listening. Um, I promise you, I know what you're all thinking, but wait, he didn't answer anything about you. I know, I know. The next Q&A that I'm gonna do is a Teen Wolf related q and I'd say nine out of 10 of the questions when I was putting them together were Teen Wolf related. So after seeing all that, I was like, okay, I'll do a separate thing. This first one was getting you guys to just see a little bit about me, have a little fun, get to know me a little bit more. Um, the next one will be on Teen Wolf, so please don't freak out. I'll get to your questions. Um, if you guys have any ideas for future Q&As, videos, things you would like to see, please, please, please comment down below so I can see. If you really want to help me out, like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. All right, guys, it was awesome. I'll see you in a little bit. Toodles.